to the space shuttle set for the new Star Trek series. I've had a rundown of the controls. Now warp drive is engaged from here, and the readout up there tells you how fast you're travelling. This is where you actually power up the drive. Engage, as Jean-Luc Picard would say. Don't worry, I'll get over it. And this is the entertainment system. This button here is for Radio Vulcan, music for the mind. And this button here is for a Klingon rock station. But I cannot pronounce the name. And this is the choke. But that's not true either, because we're actually in a Honda Civic Type R. Even if it does look like a spaceship and light years from where Honda Civics used to be. The all new lineup was launched in 2006, and this hot hatchback variant arrived a year later, finally nailing any suggestion that the Civic model name had settled for the pipe and slippers end of the market. The fact that Honda has managed to retain many of those um, uh, senior buyers, as well as recruit younger ones to the latest Civic, is a tribute to a cracking piece of futuristic design, inside and out. Look at that front end visor incorporating the headlights, the racy profile, slick door handles and brutal rear end styling. Love the distinctive exhaust pipes. Admittedly, few older buyers will go for the Type R though. This really is a rocket ship, offering 0 to 60 in just over 6 seconds from a free revving and suitably raucous 2 litre engine. Type R prices start from £17,600, which brings a lot of standard kit as well as tenacious grip. Some of the petrol head fraternity has moaned about the car being a bit flabbier this time, but I say, get in the real world. Sporty handling is okay, but not if every road then feels like a cart track and your passengers end up feeling sick. So I reckon this Type R is a good everyday car, as well as a real eye catcher. Oh, Klingons on the starboard bow. Time to go to warp, I think. Engage.